Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm going to talk to you about monitoring your ABLE account. ABLE accounts provide an incredible new opportunity to save for your future without losing your benefits. However, there are certain types of responsibilities that come along with managing your account. Understanding these responsibilities and how to handle them will help you maximize the benefits of being an ABLE account owner and assist you in growing your financial security. As you know, funds in the ABLE account are meant to be used for Qualified Disability Related Expenses, or QDEs. A QDE is any expense related to your disability that is for your benefit and that helps you increase or maintain your health, independence, and or quality of life. Upon purchasing a QDE, we recommend that you keep a receipt of that purchase along with a brief explanation on how this expense relates to your disability and how it helps you maintain or increase your health, independence, or quality of life. This information could come in handy in the event that you are ever audited by the IRS. The IRS is tasked with making sure these accounts are being used appropriately. Additionally, it is always a good idea to keep an eye on your ABLE account. Remember that these accounts can be associated with investments and, depending upon your investment choice, your account may fluctuate depending on how those investments are performing. It is always important to remember that you can change your investment choice up to two times per tax year. Another great reason to monitor your ABLE account is to keep track of your progress in terms of meeting your savings goals. Depending on how far along you are in meeting those goals and how long you have until you will need those funds, you may want to consider contacting your circle of support for help. Please watch the video in this series titled, Building a Circle of Support for more information. Lastly, for those of you who are receiving Supplemental Security Income, or SSI, remember that only the first $100,000 in your ABLE account is protected from the SSI asset limit. Once that is exceeded, your SSI cash benefit will be suspended until such time as your ABLE account falls back below that $100,000 threshold. Monitoring your account as it starts to approach this limit is important and there are a number of options you may have before your SSI cash benefit is suspended, such as making a large purchase of a QDE or placing the funds in a non-interest bearing option within your ABLE program. As an ABLE account holder, you have the opportunity to save for disability related expenses and increase your financial security.